हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज ओफिया गोयल एंड टुडेज वीडियो इज अबाउट अ वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट जावास्क्रिप्ट टॉपिक एंड इट इज क्लोजर्स सो येस क्लोजर्स इन सुपर 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 इंपॉर्टेंट इन जावास्क्रिप्ट एंड वी डेफिनेटली नीड इट अ लॉट फॉर आर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन फॉर द ट्रिकी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन यू नो विच आर यू नो मेड इन अ वे दैट यू आर कन्फ्यूज एंड इट इवेंचुअली रिक्वायर्स क्लोजर्स and this is a super super important concept that is used for various purposes in javascript and we will learn about in detail in this video so before starting friends i would really like to request you to please subscribe the channel for these informative videos about these concepts and topics and also friends i would like to request you to please watch this video do not skip anything because this is a very important video and each and every detail has its importance and i don't want you to miss anything out of this fine okay friends so let's start now uh, before explaining about closures or what is a closure uh, i would like to you know show an example in front of you and on the basis of that we will discuss about closures okay so let's go to the screen and see okay so now i have a function abc which has a variable name is equal to sophia yeah you can think i'm self obsessed <laughs> uh function def right and in this we are using the console.log name fine and now we are calling this function and now we are calling abc right so fair and simple this will this console dot log name will be taking the name from sophia this uh, abc function and now it is called so friends what happened is this variable was present in the function abc and this function def has taken the variable scope from abc so this is a closure very simple na okay let me explain you more so this function def is a closure okay not abc def so when we say a function returning another function is a closure it is not exactly right because this function is a closure not this abc so uh, what is a closure a closure is a function which is bundled together with its surrounding scope or its lexical environment okay so here this uh, def is a function which is you know bundled with this its surrounding scope or its lexical environment so this is the mdn definition also friends and this is the actual definition right and uh, you know most of us are really confused with this definition and we end up saying the uh, wrong stuff so now uh, what is a lexical environment a lexical environment is the parents environment or the parent scope so if a function is not able to find a variable in its own scope it tries you know to check out its parent scope to you know get the information about the variable now uh, we can try you know modifying this function and this can also be written as return function def right now what happened is when we have called this function abc okay what is returned a function is returned from here so this called abc is what it is a function right and how do we call a function by putting brackets in front of it okay so this is a way of calling this okay now to you know utilize closure in a better manner or to use that closure function in a better way it would be really great if i put this you know function in a variable so what i can do is i can do like where closure is equal to abc is that fine now this closure will hold a function and then we can call this closure function okay so this works right and now this is a pro proper closure function which is binding the scope of name variable with its with itself okay so uh, now this has become a closure function and this can be used to you know to get this value of name anywhere or if we have any kind of variable or something and we want to manipulate this value we can use this uh, closure function right now let's come to the need of closure functions so we need this these closure function so that we can create a 
you know private scope variable that is a variable which cannot be accessed outside or you know which cannot be modified or accessed using the external factors or any external elements cannot impact it so does this thing sound familiar like a familiar concept to you if yes please tell me below in the comment section what is that so basically what it is doing is it is doing an encapsulation that is the object oriented concept one of the object oriented concepts is encapsulation and this is how you know we are doing encapsulation in javascript so friends this is also one of the uh, widely asked question like how do we do encapsulation in javascript and we do it using closures uh, most of us are usually familiar with inheritance only and you know we keep telling about inheritance uh, but we don't know about encapsulation and other stuff so this is what it is doing creating a private scoped variable which is not accessed outside by you know any external stuff or you know which cannot be manipulated by any external factors outside okay so yeah that is the need of closures now uh, we can come to the advantages of closures uh, but before that friends if it was you know too complex for you or if you are not able to understand what has happened so far please go in the beginning of the video and start you know getting it again i know you know it looks simple in the beginning but it gets a bit complicated later on but this is the only way to understand it you know just go through that again and again and try to understand and grasp the concept and otherwise i am there you know to tell you more about it of course later on and then you will be able to get it better so yeah now let's come to the advantages of closures so i would say the first advantage or the first usage of closure is for function currying so what is function currying function currying is please try to listen it carefully okay function currying is splitting a function with multiple arguments into multiple functions of single arguments okay so we have a function with which can have multiple arguments and we want to split it into separate separate function of single single arguments so that it can become reusable okay uh, let me try to explain you with an example again i have a function okay function area right uh, sorry function area and this has an argument as length right now function area with width and this is an argument of width okay and now we are displaying console.log length into width okay so now as you can see this whole area function is a function with two arguments like this uh, length and this uh, we have to put a return in front of it also sorry okay so now it has the two arguments length and width and i want to you know split it into a function for example i have a length as 13 okay it's a complex length okay so i can create where area with length 13 is equal to area and this 13 see i have explained it to you earlier also like if i am calling this area and this argument this is returning a function fine so uh, basically what is happening is this length is in the scope of this area function and this width is in the scope of this area with width function okay so now this whole function is a closure function and now this area with length 13 is a closure function so if i write console.log area with length 13 and let me put 10 for simplicity what we have got here we have got here the area as 130 okay friends so what happened is like if i have created a constant function with a length of 13 and now when the length is 13 i can calculate uh, the area with any width uh, any width that i would provide and it will give me a result and now i can create multiple functions with this also like area with 20 area with 30 or something like that in the similar way we can also create like you know multiple function like multiple of two multiple of four with providing two arguments or maybe you can try to create a curried function with three arguments you know like a function then again returning a function which is again returning a function so that will be a function with three arguments and then you know you can try to split and you know make these uh, different different functions out there 
fine so let's come to the second use of closure functions and uh, which is memoization now what is memoization memoization is the concept of caching the result so for example if i am calculating a multiple of two numbers and in a function and i am passing those function as, those numbers as arguments in that function for example i have passed the argument as 2 and 3 and then i have calculated the multiple of 2 into 3 then if again i try to you know call that function with the arguments of 2 and 3 it should not be you know going and recalculating the whole stuff it should be picking the value from the cache we we have stored the value in the cache so this is the you know outline of the concept of memoization and for this concept we need closures like how do we do that caching how do we use that so this thing friends i will be telling you in the next video where i will be explaining the practical closure interview questions but this is also another thing now the third thing that it is used for is set timeouts and immediately invoked function expressions or like self-invoked functions so for these also we need closures and we use closures again I will be explaining the use in the next video and uh, last but not the least is module design pattern so yes friends again i will be telling you more about it in the next video where i will be covering a whole lot of questions and concepts about closures but uh, yeah these are the things that it is used for now as i have already said to you it's better to know the disadvantages as well of anything along with the advantages so yes closures also have these disadvantages and uh, as you can think like what could be the disadvantage of closure don't you think it is occupying a lot of memory by you know taking the scope of variable along with it so yes it occupies memory and causes memory leakage fine so what is memory leakage so basically friends what happens is when a function is called you know the until the function is called the variable is stored in the uh, memory as soon as the function is called and you know the function call is done the variable is taken out of the memory or it is wiped from the memory so this is how you know this whole memory management stuff works right but this does not happens with closure what happens there is these you know functions keep occupying uh, these you know bundled uh, variables along with them and you know they just keep it in the memory all the time so it is a variable which does not has any reference but it is there in the memory which it does not know when it is going to be used or will it be used or not so you know it's like a lost variable which does not has any reference to it or which does not know when it is going to be used and these are the things that cause memory leaks okay and you this does not you know let the garbage collection happen and because of memory leaks we face these you know slow applications are there or you can say you know latency is there and it impact the applications in various ways it can impact other applications also so you know this is what is caused by closure sometimes or so sometimes people try to avoid using that but i have told you the advantages and disadvantages but the next video will be more exciting than that again in the next video i will be covering the practical closure interview questions and i will be covering you know these concepts that i have already told you in that in this video so stay tuned please subscribe the channel if you have got something from us please give a thumbs up to this video and tell me in the comment section about it and till then see you in the next video Bye bye